I just talked to David and Scribs last night and he said to me, write something up. So they told us a wee bit about Mitch. I mean, I didn't know much. I only met him a few times, but what I knew the man, he's a real gentleman. So it's just Mitch Colbride, a friend to us all. The outdoor type, a fisherman, a bagger of Munro's. What else he did whilst in his hills, God could only know. Around his neck, he had a piece of rope and from it hung his phone. He'd a smile at milk, that would milk the hardest heart that only he could own. A friend to all who gathered here and many more beside. The very name of Scotland's son belongs to Mitch Colbride. He climbed his hill so many times and he ran his favourite place. he throw his ashes as he wished and he lock in civil grace. A journalist held in the highest esteem with a reputation to uphold. But the scripts he wrote for all of us were worth their weight in gold. A real scholar and a gentleman, the most respected man I knew. And if, even now we're here at his request, he still tells us what to do. But here at last he will be free, the pain has finally gone. And this man of independent mind will see Scotland's brand new dawn. Tart and blood run through his veins, he'd a salt after for a heart. And I have this thing in being a friend is when you have to part. He battled hard his whole life through, fighting just like you and me. And he hopes he'll never stop that fight until Scotland is at last free. But Mitch was not a sombre man and would insist today is fun, celebrating what he'd done in life and all the friendships won. He will live on within us, he will never go away. So let's raise a toast to our friend Mitch for Independence Day. Wow. Thank you. 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 Thank you.